Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi. I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Istanbul, Turkey. If this is your first time seeing my face, hello. <laughs> anyway, today's video is not a tutorial. Yeah, I know I have a face beat. I don't know if this look is already up, but if it's not up, it's a wax. But anyway, today's video is a school related video. So if you didn't know, I moved from Cyprus to Turkey last year march i've been here for like 14 months i'm currently doing my masters here in istanbul turkey so i'm basically going to tell you what i did before i applied for schools here in istanbul I did most of the steps when I was coming here and it went smoothly for me so yeah I just wanted to share what you need to know before you apply for schools here in Turkey because the struggle is real but anyway let's get started for documents that you need while coming to Turkey most of the documents that you need should be like your if even if you're applying for undergraduate master's phd you should have your last certificate like for example yeah you just finished high school and you want to come for undergraduate you should have your wayek like in nigeria we do wayek if you are not from a country that speaks english you should have like your english certificate too birth certificate you should have your international passport for undergraduate i don't know if they ask for sponsorship later but when i went to cyprus they asked for sponsorship later so you should have all those things before you apply mm -hmm. for master's program when i was coming here i literally sent them my transcript undergraduate certificate and that was it i think that is all oh and my international passport so that was the only thing i sent them for my undergrad for my masters oh also i think they asked for a photograph like all those small passport photographs here yeah. you have to get all those ready so yeah some schools will also ask you to send them a scanned document while some will tell you to send them the originals so the first things that you need to think of when you want to apply for a school here in turkey is to have a budget because i'm pretty sure there, are, there is no course that you want to do that is not studied here in turkey because they have literally everything yeah so it's just based on your budget because here in istanbul i'm going to be talking mostly about the master's program that's like the graduate program because i didn't do my undergraduate here so i can't really emphasize on it but for the master's program here it's it's affordable but kind of expensive it's almost the same thing as cyprus like it's the cheapest that you can find if i compare it between going to the united states and schooling here their school fees is kind of cheap you have to know how much you can put in for your school and since you're moving here for the first time have money for your accommodation if you have someone that you are staying with then it's fine but if you're coming like for the first time then i really suggest that you have accommodation money that you can pay for like five four months because here accommodation they take deposits and all those things i'm going to do a different video concerning apart um, accommodation here in turkey and have money that can feed you for at least three months so that's what i mean like a budget you don't need to have like the complete program school fees so just just those three are the like important parts because you definitely need where to stay you need to feed you need transport money you need like some type of allowance in your hand before you move here the next step after having a budget then you go online and search for the schools that you want because i have like web i know like websites masters portal this is the website it literally shows you all the university like if you type in a course like a program that you want to do it's going to show you like the schools that take that program and their location so you can literally search for the schools that you want and see the location and see how much their school fees estimation is so to be in the urban city is is kind of okay and you have like other foreigners that you can relate with instead of in a rural area you find it difficult for someone that could speak english there please don't go to all the oh god 
I advise you to go to like urban cities like Istanbul, Ankara, Antalya for your budget if you can afford to pay a bit higher I will advise you to go for a private university because they give admission way faster than you going to like a public university because public university there are a lot of people that want to get admission there and if your grades are not like super high you might miss the admission time because everyone even the citizens here would love to attend that school because it's very cheap and affordable so i advise you to go to private universities because they don't they just want their money and give you the education i mean that's what they're coming for but they don't do all those uh, wait for a list to come out before they accept you and everything my admission literally came in two days <laughs> those ones are quite fast if they are going to admit you you get your admission in less than a week if they are not going to admit you they will let you know when you've already found the school that you want to go to please make sure you confirm the program is going to be taught in english or in turkish because there are situations where the fees are really cheap and you feel oh yeah i've gotten a cheap school i can go to turkey and you come to turkey and discover that the program is in turkish so please even if you have an agent please reconfirm that your program is in english because you might translate it and it gives you a wrong translation and you come here and find out that your program is in turkish and there's literally zero percent thing that you can do if you already paid the money or if you forfeit the money but you have to be careful when selecting a school like make sure you check the program and see if that is in english like open the school website open the page for the program like i'm doing business administration go to business administration look at the mode of instruction confirm it because there are schools that have like now in my school they have business administration they have the turkish version and they have the english version so you have to check and confirm that is in turkish for you if you want to if you want to learn the third course in turkish fine but if you want it in english then you have to confirm if it's in english if you're not sure if it's in english please email the school and ask them you can just apply directly through the school website you search on the school website if you don't find an email address or you don't find application form check well, i'm pretty sure every website has a search bar search for the admission office accounting office just search for something as far as you find official email address you can email them and they will respond to you if that is not the department that you need they will tell you oh this is the department that you need to email they'll give you the email so yeah if you want to do it yourself just go through the website the school website you can literally do everything by yourself if, after doing all that the next thing for you to do is to apply so you have to know when to apply the admission time here is um for masters i think they accept any time <laughs> but it depends on the department because they can accept you at any time and tell you to come and you they'll tell you that they missed registration i'm going to talk about my school because that is basically what happened to me the best time for you to apply would be if you want to come for the fall semester that starts in september so you can start applying all the way from april may june july those summer periods here yeah, you can start applying again september then if you want to come in february the february um, set that is spring yeah if you want to come in spring it starts february so you have to start applying from january um december january and part of the february because the february classes starts like mid so it depends so because some departments we finish their application and admission faster than others it depends on how filled up the course or the department is then also for some universities here they pay application fee the application fee differs because there are some schools that don't take application fee that don't ask for application fee but there are also schools that ask for application fee so i think if I'm to say so myself, it's mostly like the private universities that ask for uh, application fee. So in case you have, you get an agent and the agent tells you, oh, you need to pay application fee. Yeah, there is a thing called application fee. The highest I've seen for application fee is hundred dollars, and that's because the school is even like a private university. So I'm pretty sure it should be there are schools that pay lower than that. 
but any school that is paying more than hundred dollars for application, please go and confirm yourself because I don't know why they collect hundred dollars more than hundred dollars. But confirm for yourself. The major thing for me, that's the major thing, is for you to get an agent. An agent is very optional, but if you're like me, I like doing everything once. I don't want to beat around the bush, so I prefer going to people that I know that is their specialization. Let them do it. So you have to pay like a bit. You have to pay a bit. To, uh, to the agent but when getting an agent it's not just because you don't want to do it then you just leave the person to sort it out for you no the agent is just going to collect his money and be gone you are gonna find yourself when getting an agent please ask them basic questions like ask them about your accommodation ask them if there is scholarship so yeah those are the type of things you're supposed to be asking your agent your agent will even help you when you come here to get your permits get your house you can the best part is if they are even staying here in turkey it's going to be very easy for you because it's also easy for me when i came here through my agent it was very smooth I, I have like a few agents that work here in istanbul and ankara so if you want admission for istanbul or ankara just send me an email i'll put my email down and i'll write it here on the screen just send me an email if you need an agent or you can send me a dm and I will link you up with the best. They will not stress you. Everything will be smooth. If yeah. you can't afford an agent where you need like help and show one or twos, still hit me up, send me a DM. I will help you where I can. Mm -hmm. Guys, those are all the tips that I think is necessary that for you to know before you start applying for a university here in Turkey so that you don't come to Turkey and you'll be like, oh, had I known. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more about schooling here in Turkey, please let me know in the comment section. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're up to this end. Share, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.